Hello. Arguably, the most popular feature in web applications is login. So at the moment, we already have login implemented by a device, so we can let our users log in via an email and password, and uh, it also has some drawbacks. Users have to save their email, save their password somewhere, and often you can see a button log in with GitHub or log in with Twitter or Google or something like that. And it really makes the workflow much easier for the user. And on the side of the application owner, you don't have to worry that the users will try to add unexistent emails and uh, you won't have to worry about confirmation strategies. So email confirmation strategies. And now we are going to add log in with GitHub. So we're going to add a button that will let a user sign in with his GitHub account into your application. And how do we do it? Well, first of all, of course, we will need a gem, OmniAuth GitHub. And let's get this gem into our gem file. So we go to our gem file and install the gem. And now we run bundle. Okay, looks good. And uh, what do we do next? Let's have a look at the readme. Here we have information that we need to get a GitHub key and GitHub secret and add them somewhere. Well, we will need to create a GitHub OmniAuth application. So we will go to our profile, into settings, then go down into developer settings, OmniAuth apps, and here we're going to register a new application. Let's name it Super Rails Development. You can name it whatever you want, and you will need to add the homepage URL. So for me, it is going to be this URL, the one that I'm using on my development environment. You can use localhost or something like that. And you will need to add an authorization callback URL. So in my case, it's going to be, again, this URL. But importantly, in the end, you will need to add something like users out GitHub callback. Now, this is really important. In the end, inside the authorization callback URL, add users slash out slash GitHub slash callback, okay? And now we register our application. And when we registered our application, we get this client ID and we can generate a new client secret. Let's generate it, okay? So I get the client ID and I will go and edit somewhere in our application. Well, at the moment we are integrating OmniAuth GitHub into our device integration. So we will need to go to our initializers device rb and here around line 274 we are going to have already a pre-built commented outline for config omni out github we will comment it uh, in and in the app id we are going to add this app id and in the app secret we are going to copy this client secret and add it here now for scope just don't worry about that we can totally remove it we're going to use GitHub for just signing the user in right now. Okay, looks good. So we have added GitHub API keys into our device RB. And what do we do next? Well, if we go into the documentation of the gem itself, uh, there isn't much said except of this. And we have to figure out how we want to do our integration on our own. But luckily, the other gem, OmniAuth Google Auth2, provides some uh, good information about uh, uh, integrating uh, OmniAuth into a Rails application already using device. So let's have a look at what they provide. Now, uh, let's go down. And here we have this uh, tab device. So we added our OmniAuth into device.rb. Next, we need to go to our roots RB and create a new uh, path to a new controller. So we're going to have a new controller. Okay, let's go to our roots.rb. And here we have a device for users, controllers, OmniAuth users, OmniAuth callbacks. Okay, it means we need to create a new controller. Let's go to our app controllers. Inside, we will create uh, users. And inside, we will create uh, OmniAuth callbacks controller. like this. And let's uh, paste this code from here into our OmniAuth callbacks controller. And we will edit it a bit. So we're going to use it for, oh, sorry, for GitHub now. And uh, yeah, we will just replace the word uh, Google with GitHub for now. And it should actually work. 
looks fine. And you see, uh, if we look at the action, we see that uh, we are going to get API data from uh, our OmniAuth provider, so from GitHub, and it's going to be visible in the request and OmniAuth auth. And using this data, we are going to go to our user model, user.rb, and there we will need to create a new method, as said here in the commented outline, named from OmniAuth. And uh, let's create this method and see how it's going to work. So we will go to our models, user RB, and here we also have a template of how this uh, uh, method can look in user.rb. Let's copy it and add it here. And we'll need to format it a bit. And let's see how it works. So we are going to get the API uh, authentication data from GitHub. and we're going to get the email out of it and we're going to find a user by this email and authenticate this user if the user already exists in our database. But if the user doesn't exist yet in our database, you see it says uncommon this section if we want to let users to be created via OmniAuth. We're going to uncomment it and we're going to allow users to create accounts via OmniAuth. Let's do it. Now I will improve the style in a tiny bit. And what does it give us? So we try to find a user by the email provided by the social login. If the user is found, we log the user in. And if the user is not found, we create a user. And out of this method, we go back to the controller action here. And if the user is persisted, so if the user was created or if the user was found, then we send the user in and redirect him. And if not, we are brought to the new user registration URL with some kind of uh, error message. Looks fine. So let's uh, actually see if it works. Now, one more thing that uh, is a problem of copy paste, and you see we don't have an uh, attribute in our users table named name, and uh, we'll have to remove it here. Okay, now let's uh, again run the Rails server. Okay, what is the error? Okay, please add device omni authable to user model. Yeah, sure. Uh, we need to add omni authable here. So omni authable. And we're going to also maybe say what omni auth providers we are using. So there is actually a template for this here device omni authable, omni auth providers. And here we're going to say not Google, but we're going to say GitHub. So we will say GitHub, like this. Okay, and uh, let's see if it works. Again, I'm going to start the Rails server. Okay, and you see we get this button sign in with GitHub. Now, it wasn't present before we added the OmniAuth. Why is it present now? Because uh, it is one of the standard layouts of device. So if uh, inside user RB we say OmniAuth provider's GitHub is present, then automatically the sign in link to GitHub is going to be present. If we add the uh, Google or Facebook or Twitter, these links will also automatically populate. So it's something device varies about on their side. And now let's try to actually log in. I'm going to press sign in at GitHub. And we get this could not authenticate from GitHub authenticity error. Now this is an error. Uh, due to a security patch update of the gem OmniAuth done in early 2021. And basically to make it work, we'll need to add just one more gem. So here it is. It is the gem OmniAuth Rails CSFR protection. You see it's a fairly new gem, but it's become wildly popular due to the security update. And we'll have to add it to our gem file. Okay. And now we go and run bundle. Okay, and let's start the server once again and see if it works. So I started the server, I'm refreshing, and I press sign in with GitHub. And voila, we are on the page to sign in with GitHub, and I press authorize Vaishmarov, and we have logged in. So it works. Now I can uh, try to log out. I will sign in once again, and it works, and it uses my GitHub email to authenticate me. So that's basically it. We've added the uh, OmniAuth GitHub into our Ruby on Rails application. And once again, what did we do? Into our gem file, we added the OmniAuth GitHub gem 
And importantly, we added this gem for authenticity tokens. Then inside device RB, we added our GitHub credentials that we received when we created an OmniAuth application inside GitHub. And naturally, you should not commit these into GitHub or any other Git provider. You should uh, hide these credentials using Rails credentials. Inside roots, we added the controller uses OmniAuth callbacks and we created the folder inside our controllers named users, OmniAuth callbacks controller. And here we created an action to log in with Google. Oh, I mean with GitHub. <laughs> and inside user.rb, we also said that it is OmniAuthable inside device. The OmniAuth provider is GitHub. And we added this method to either find the user by the OmniAuth API ID or create the user and log him in. And that's basically it. Thanks for being with me and see you in the next episode.